says you are investing about in real estate in the city center, what happens when the bubble bursts? I'd like to thank all the Facebook users and the tweets that came through uh, inquiring uh, about the NSSF and asking me uh, personal questions uh, that relating to the fund. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate. Uh, we will continue to do this uh, periodically uh, so that we can answer all the concerns that you might have. We invest funds in uh, three particular areas. We invest in fixed income. These are uh, investments of a fixed nature. The return is known in advance. It's normally determined by the interest rate uh, uh, ruling uh, on the day the investment is made. And we normally invest in government, treasury bonds, uh, treasury bills, and we also invest in uh, uh, what we call infrastructure bonds. Uh, the other area we invest in is in uh, real estate. Real estate, uh, we normally have uh, our investments held up in buildings, uh, buildings that are commercial, where we rent them out. But we've also recently started doing uh, residential property where we build and sell at a profit. Uh, the returns have been reasonable, although not that great, uh, because uh, the market tends, has tended to be a little bit circulated uh, within the real estate area. Uh, the last area we invest in is equities. These are normally stocks that are listed and some that are not listed. Uh, when we invest in listed stock, we normally pick those off the stock exchanges in East Africa, uh, the Kenya Stock Exchange, the Uganda Stock Exchange, the Rwanda Stock Exchange, and the Tanzanian Stock Exchange. In addition to that, we also invest in private equity. For example, uh, we invest in uh, places like the Serena uh, and the Housing Finance Bank, uh, which is a private equity. At the moment, we are looking for opportunities in the SME space, which basically means that SMEs that are ready to come and be listed on the stock exchange so that we can go in as private equity and then exit through the stock exchange. There is a law before Parliament which uh, proposes to reduce the age of retirement from 55 to 45. Uh, there are also other changes that are uh, included within this law. Uh, they are to allow members to utilize part of their savings to be able to purchase homes and also to be able to treat themselves uh, through a medical insurance scheme. But some of the new changes that we expect within the law will allow people to get benefits relating to uh, unemployment and also benefits relating to education. Uh, we support some, uh, we support most of the, uh, the, the requirements within this law and we encourage uh, everybody out there uh, who has a member of parliament that they can talk to to make sure that they pass this law before the end of the parliamentary period. There are a number of, uh, uh, of uh, individuals who have uh, told us that their bosses or their companies are not remitting their social security contributions. What we do is we encourage them to whistle blow to us. This information is treated uh, anonymously. Uh, your employer will never know. We will be able to uh, go in and investigate. Uh, we'll uh, find the money and we'll put that into your account. We'll also pay you uh, a token uh, of appreciation for providing us with that information. So I encourage all of you out there whose employer is not paying in their contributions to report to us. Uh, there is a, a number which we've advertised on our website. Well, thank you so much. Uh, if there are any questions, please continue to send them on our Twitter uh, feed or onto, web, onto our Facebook. We will be able to respond to them. Currently, we also have uh, other channels of communication. You can send us information on our website. You can also call us on our toll-free number on 08-002-86773. Thank you.